Hey guys, <clears throat> um, I was going to start this totally positively, but um, eBay sucks, their customer service sucks, um, a girl bid bought an item for me, and like, there was only 10 minutes left in it, somebody else would have won that knew about the item, had she not swooped in, bid, not knowing about the item. So, three days go by, I message her, she's like, are they cinched at the bottom? I put a picture of the flared leg on there. Not to mention, it's, it's written, boyfriend, pants, uh, flared leg. It's written on there. How much more, like, I can't be more specific than that. You just didn't read it at all, you saw it. You wanted it, you're a selfish person, basically. And then, customer service is like, well, um, oh, uh, somehow I got, they got twisted to me being in trouble. And now I can't post for like six days, five days or so, I don't know. But eBay just sucks. I'm looking for another site to go to and sell on. Cause that, screw that. But, I'm doing a 17 random questions tag. And I am going to tag Olivia Ames. Put that at the bottom. So, in case you don't watch this girl, you know you're next. And give you the info. Okay. Hold on, I need a drink for this. I can't wait to do a Beckley tomorrow and get regular sugar. That's half Splenda, half sugar. I don't like it. But it's my sweet tea. What are you going to do? Okay. How did you get your YouTube username? Oh, it's actually like my real name. All except for my middle name. That's not my real name. Um... Mary is what my mom, or my mom wanted to name me after my grandmother, but her middle name. So, my dad told my mom that his mom's middle name was Marie. And come to find out it was Mary, so I'm not named after anybody, and my middle name's Marie. But, um, that, I had always been said not to actually put your full name, but I really don't see any reason not to. Um, I've looked at that from all angles, and there are like 50 million of us. But, um, my name is Crystal Marie Campbell. And on Twitter, by the way, on Twitter I am Crystal Campbell at I Will Survive Zero. And then I have a Facebook, uh, Crystal Campbell. One's personal, one's for business. Um, I'm trying to switch the, the other one to Crystal Mary Campbell. So you guys will know which one to go to. Because I've always quit going to the other one. So you wouldn't get a hold of me either way. But, um, I don't know. I just, uh But, um, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? Oh, I've thought about this. Um. <laughs> kicking it in Crystal's corner. That was what I was going. That's what I was going to call it. Like, that's, you know, maybe not that long. They probably would have made me cut some words out, but. I was trying to go along those lines with the Charlie Sheen thing. It reminded me of it, and I can't go there. Okay. Oops. I'll turn that on. Call somebody. Um, next. Okay. If you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be? Yes, I would. And it would be to love. No matter what, forgive, let the little things go, try everything that you want to, because you'll regret it if you don't. Be bold, basically. 
Um, when I was younger, I was really sheepish and shy. I was the, the guy that I let beat on me, you know. I was just, I was young and naive. I was brainwashed. You know, I had a lot of recovery to from that. And I don't think I would have, you know, put myself in that position for so long if I hadn't had daddy issues. But that's a whole other topic. Okay. Um, how... How old were you when you learned to blow bubbles at a bubble gum? I don't know, probably five or six, probably. No, my mom, no, my mom didn't let us have gum until we were seven. Seven. Mom was really weird about sugar. We split a can of soda like up until my brother was nine. <laughs> um. What did you want to be when you were little? I wanted to be an English teacher. I was I was always good at English language and English lit, like journalism. I was always a good writer. Like my mom found a poem that I read at graduation, and uh, I actually read it to my priest. It was really pretty and. Was, And I was like, what do you know? You are talented. You know, trying to give me that shove because I'm I'm stuck in the middle of a book. Like, I'm trying to write a book and I'm kind of stuck. I have a, I'm, I hit writer's block and I, I'm having a hard time getting back into it. Um, what do you order at Starbucks? I order the, um... White chocolate mocha, a double the white chocolate. I order a venti, by the way. Um, if it if I'm ordering it hot, well, if I'm ordering it cold, I order a venti too. But I get it made differently. Um, usually if I'm getting a cold drink, I get a caramel macchiato. If I'm getting a hot a hot drink, I get um white chocolate mocha. And I come in to double the white chocolate, give me three extra shots of espresso, and um, put, a, a, put a piece of ice in it before you put the whipped cream on top of it. They get exact instructions for me, but I don't want that because I'm just so friendly with them. You know, it's hard, it's hard to be mean as long as just being so nice to you, you know. But, um, I try, just try to be nice to everybody. Unless she give me a reason to be mean. Then I'll be mean. But, um. This question, what's the hardest I've ever liked? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know that one. Okay. If you could play any musical instrument, which and why? Um, it'd be the guitar, and it's because a lot of my idols are, you know, guitarists or musicians. But, um, I love Jimmy. And, um, I love the dead. I just, I don't know. And I can write good songs. And I feel like if I could play the guitar, I could put music to them. Right now, they're just wasted. Beautiful songs, actually. Like, a lot of them are good, and I, I have the confidence to say they're good. And so in my writing shit, I'll be the first to say it. <clears throat> I don't want my writing to be shit. Like, that's why I went to school so long. You know, I wanted to learn to critique myself, you know, to make sure I didn't make those errors. But, um, okay, next. Um, what's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? Go outside and smoke a cigarette. 
That's what I did. I got some sick of cigarette when it was cold, hot, wood, whatever. I don't even care most of the time what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing short shorts and it's hot and a tank top, I'm going outside. If I'm wearing sweatpants and um, just like a hoodie and it's footed snow outside, I'll throw all my fogs and walk out there. I just need a minute of air and then it's cool off and then just smoke a cigarette. And you know when I'm becoming mad mad, because my eyes will turn from dark brown to green, like a light green, and I start to cry. And you know, I am pissed at that point. You know, to back the fuck up. Okay. Mm. What's your favorite movie? Mine's Rocky. I love Rocky. I fell in love with it a couple years ago, and it's been my favorite movie since. I watch it every time I see it on TV. Um... I went out of my way to get it and watch it, like, Rocky. And until I take it night, but really I've watched that one so many times that I don't really care to watch it anymore. Joe Dart. Joe Dart's definitely one of my favorite movies. My son used to be like, Mommy, are we going to watch you Dart again? But he'd sit there and watch it still yet and laugh. Like, he'd laugh like he got the humor, and he was probably like, Seven or eight, just no, fine, Bob. He but he laughed like he had the humor. Um, <clears throat> what's your what's the one food you couldn't live without? Oh, that one's a weird one like food or like drink or just one or the other. Okay, if it was just food or just drink, I'm saying, well, no, because if I chose coffee, I'd have to choose cream. If I chose tea, I'd have to choose sugar. If I chose granola, I'd have to choose milk. Hmm. This one's a hard one. Because I think I'm getting too, I get too specific with things. It's part of my, I guess, my OCD. Um. I guess pasta. Because I could do anything with pasta. I think that's when the tight in me comes out, is when I'm cooking. I can do anything with pasta. Look how, him, look how small my hands are today. Ridiculous, isn't it? It's so bad. And then, two of my nails, one, one broke off clear, like right there. And then this one's breaking right at the side, right there. So I need, I need like, $15 just to get my nails fixed tomorrow, so I don't like crap for the next three weeks. Because, like, I just got a feel, so, yeah. Like, I haven't even had them a week. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think. Okay, um, what's your favorite dessert? Oh, tiramisu. And then, if I can't have the actual dessert tiramisu, the gelato, uh, the Briar's gelato um, tiramisu. There's so good. They have these little pieces of things that are supposed to be lady fingers, or maybe they are lady fingers. I don't know. But you melt it, like you take the whole container, melt it for 45 seconds, and mm mm Got my last water in for right now. I had a store tomorrow, so, mm. yeah, we have to get a good old Bickley tomorrow. Let's see. Favorite pizza topping? Um, it depends on what you mean topping. <laughs> Once again, like, I don't like marinara sauce, so I would say white sauce, you know? But I can't just have white sauce, I don't know if that's considered a topping. So, I'm also going to pick, I, I always get a white sauce pizza with ham, onions, and mushrooms. And, um, I don't know, something's missing on that, but, um, I don't know, something's missing about that, but, uh, I would say, I guess, Onions. 
yeah, I guess it would choose onions. Unless it's the white sauce marinara thing counts. And then you choose white sauce. Okay. Would you rather have the superpower of reading minds or to be invincible? I read minds for sure. I would love to read people's minds all the time. Like, I would love to know what they were thinking and, you know what I mean? Oh, I would love it. Like, uh, we'll go into that another time. But, um, this house has some. Some strong uh, feelings to it, kind of say, and uh, it it keeps me up. It makes me feel like you know I'm not really alone. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. I don't even know what I'm on that. Um, but I would love to read people's minds for sure. Invincible, no. Who cares? Okay. What did you do for your last birthday? Ooh, my last birthday, I turned 29 and I started my YouTube channel. It was on November 21st. I've been on here just a little over the month. Say, so, wow, I just realized that. So I was with you guys. And then I had a small gathering with my mom, my priest, and his wife. And we just had like a small get-together, ate some cake, read some cards, and had some gifts. If you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be? Okay, does plastic surgery count? I wonder if that counts. I would get my teeth fixed. Like, if, if, that, if I had one wish right now, I'd be my teeth fixed. That's what I would wish for. I don't want them fixed that bad. Like, if I had one wish, I would choose my teeth. Like, I will never smile bigger or brighter than after I get these fixed. I always just have the prettiest smile. And somebody else knocks your teeth out and there's nothing you can do. Anyways, go awesome thought for a moment. Okay. Um If you were a Pokemon, what would you be called? What would you look like? I'm not sure what a Pokemon is. I don't know about that one. Sorry. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, once again. I'm tagging Olivia Ains, and uh, like I said, I put it in my bar, um, and get the info from me, and bye dolls, I really enjoy this time, like, talking to you guys, and I hope you enjoy watching, and, you know, I have a month that, like, is really like well planned i planned it well and i hope you guys love every minute of it because i have honestly put all, all, all the extra energy i had into this so and money <laughs> so night dolls